Okay, um, this really isn't a tutorial. This is just showing that I'm making a two-inch shell. But uh, I'm gonna kind of explain it. Uh, I'm gonna have a more how-to video coming up soon. But right now I didn't have time to make a good full video. Uh, so, uh, what I'm doing right now is taking nipple nickel wrapper, putting hot glue at the bottom, folded in some to where it could go around the time fuse. And now, I'm just waiting for that to go. And now I have a uh, plug that uh, I made with cardboard from a box from Power Direct. Um, well, I get boxes from them a lot, so. Why not use their boxes and put them to use? I get lots of shipments of uh, views and stuff like that earlier on in the year last year. So I took all those boxes and turned them into little plugs. Um, what I'm doing right now is pushing down the plug to make sure I got a good fit. Now I'm going to cut slits in it to make sure that I can fold it down easily. And folding it down easily will help later on. So now I'm just gonna let it let the video go through and cut through and talk to you about a couple other things while that's what happening. Um, I'm ordering ten pounds of potassium nitrate, five pounds of potassium chlorate, one pound of Indian blackhead aluminum. Um, um, trying to think. One pound of benzo, uh, potassium benzoate. One pound of char, uh, two, three pounds of charcoal. I already have two pounds of charcoal right next to me. Um, and a lot of other things. Um, so yeah. Now I'm hot gluing down the flaps that were at the side. Um, narrating is not one of my best things. When I'm doing it at a 11 something. Uh, but yeah. Now I'm going down the flaps. Okay. Now where the nickel wrapper was. It's going to be where I'm put the burst charge. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little into the video. That um. The, uh, I made the shell a little too tall for how many stars I made. So I cut it down and filled the rest up with rice holes. Um, so yeah. And just gonna let that go and tell you what else I'm gonna be making. Uh, from Power Direct, I'm ordering. I cannot find the flying fish fuse. They took it down from the website uh, a couple days ago. I'm um, waiting to see if they post it back, post, post it back up, or, or I'm missing it somewhere. But they never emailed me saying they're taking it down or anything. So I'm thinking I'm just missing it because I'm super tired. Uh, so yeah, now uh, I filled that up with rice holes. I'm gonna have to cut the shell shorter, as I told you, after I fill it up with stars. Oh, by the way, I'm using toilet paper roll for the casing, which works pretty well. Um, I'm at a quick match, so I have to order some more. Uh, so yes, I, my mom has got her Type 54. Well, she's getting it. Right now, I've actually been making my own with, um, uh, quick paper fuse, and, um, uh, black match that I've been making. I had around three, three, two pounds of black powder. Uh, I used most of them for rockets. So, yeah. Now I'm cutting the shell, as I told you. Now I was going to do. Um, so, yeah. I made a couple rockets earlier on, and, uh, they, they worked. I had my friend come in. We built about a hundred, hundred and ten rockets with all the black powder I had, and it was quite fun. We shot them off, and they went about two hundred feet, and then had a small report. Uh, so I'd have to show you a couple of those videos later on. Now, uh, now that I got all the stars in, I'll be cutting. Oh, actually, I already did cut it. Now I'm going to be taking a plug that I made right now. I took the cardboard discs that I have, and I'm putting them in there. Currently, my shell is still drying. Uh, it's going to take about another 24 to 48 hours to dry again. And now I'm going to spike it one more time, 
we paste it, and it should fit in my cardboard 12, uh, 2 inch mortar. My, uh, the cardboard's about 1 inch thick, uh, so it's definitely going to withstand up to a flower pot, whatever I have to put up to it, until I get money to buy more stuff. Uh, currently, I have no money, um, because my mom lost her job. What, what, what? Oh well, uh, not too worried about it. She's getting another one. But while I'm waiting, uh, I'm saving up about 200 bucks. And now I'm waiting. I forget what I'm doing now. And what you can see in the two inch, you can see a two inch hemisphere sitting right in front of there. That's why I was kind of holding my black powder in. And now my video is still going on, and I have no idea what I'm doing in the background. And I'm going, I'm going, okay, so I fold down all the flaps, and now that I have all the flaps folded down, it should be good to go. Um, yeah, this, it kind of came out professional, it didn't look too good, but I mean, it came out okay. So, that's the shell so far. Now, this is the shell spiked. Um, as you can see, I did not make the time fuse long enough to stick out. Uh, to where uh, I could actually t paste around it good. So, um, it's gonna kind of suck shooting it off and kind of having the time fuse not sticking into the lift cup. Uh, so yeah. Now here's a paste. And, uh, so I'm running some wheat paste on my hand. Uh, I think that's about good enough consistency for wheat paste. Currently, my wheat paste is in chunks now, and I have to add more water to it and boil it. But, yeah. I'm going to be rubbing wheat paste on my hand in a couple of seconds. And rubbing it on the shell to make sure I get a good, tight, uh, make sure my shell is tight whenever it dries. And it'll give a good break. So, that's it. Wait for the, uh, part two to come out. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I won't have the firing of the shell for quite a while. Um, but that's fine with me. I'm stocking up the shells for New Year's Eve. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment and tell me what I should do um, in my next videos. I currently have no more pyrotechnic materials around. But I am currently working on saving up the money and buying more. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and tell me what else I should make. Now, I'm up to any suggestions. The only vid type videos I will not do is how to make a salute shell, or how to make flash powder, because those are two things I don't want anybody knowing how to make, unless they are good at pyrotechnics. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and see you all later. Plus, this shell, which still isn't dry yet, it's getting on the dry side, but it isn't 100% dry yet, but, yeah, so those are currently the three shells I have, so, again, this is, uh, uh Pyroman 4811, 4811, and look, get another glimpse of all the chemicals I currently own. Actually, that isn't all of them. I still have mercury, um, lead, all the other metals and elements, but they aren't stored near here because they cannot react with them. But, yeah. Uh, so those are three shells. I will uh, have more videos up soon once I get money to produce them and money to make fireworks. Currently, my mom has no job. So, that's going to be kind of hard. But, you know, everything will work out. Um, New Year's Eve will be big. Uh, because I'll have about 23 inch shells, 22 and two and a half inch shells, 22 inch shells, about 15 1 inch, uh, 1.75 inch shells, and, uh, maybe like, I don't even know if I said, how many three inch shells on half of them? I have quite a bit of shells. Oh, it's gonna it's, it's gonna take about ten pounds of potassium nitrate. Uh, 
10 pounds of potassium nitrate, and all the other things I said in the earlier clips. Uh, so yeah, these are currently my three shells. Thanks for watching, and have a great night slash day, whatever it is. It's currently the next day after I've made this shell. So yeah, see you guys later.